Um, the sanctions that were put um, by the uh, West mostly, uh, Europe and the United States, were in apparent uh, reaction to the human rights abuses that took place uh, in Zimbabwe. Uh, and these, some of these human rights abuses are objective, objectively verifiable. Um, and therefore, um, the, uh, the, according to the United States and the Europeans, they imposed these sanctions. But in 2012, our, our founding president, Morgan Changrai, as Prime Minister of Zimbabwe, traveled to Australia, where he advocated for the removal of the sanctions. On the basis that these sanctions were hurting the very people that they were meant to protect. They were benefiting the very people that they were supposed to uh, prejudice. So they, were, they are not achieving their intended purposes. Um, again, in 2012, 2013, Morgan Changrai wrote a letter to Prime Minister David Cameron, and this letter was hand-delivered by Jameson Timber, where he was asking for the removal of sanctions by the European Union. As you know, Britain was still a member of the European Union there then. Um, the Europeans responded in 2013 by removing every man, everyone on sanctions, with the exception of uh, Grace Mugabe and Robert Mugabe, and with the exception, again, uh, of the Zimbabwe defense industries. The army commanders were put, were put on what is called the suspended list. In other words, they are not under sanctions and they can travel to Europe. So as we speak, only three people uh, are under European sanctions. That is the late Robert Mugabe, uh, his wife Grace, and uh, the Zimbabwe defense industries. Uh, the Americans, of course, have not removed their, their, their sanctions. But our, our view as the MDC, our position is that we support the international re-engagement re of Zimbabwe with the international community. But this re-engagement must be made, in this re-engagement, any positive movement on the part of the international community must be matched by an equally positive movement on the part of Zimbabwe in instituting key social, political, and economic reforms. In other words, the, 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 the movement regarding sanctions must be on a quid pro quo basis. We are not advocating, as others uh, may be doing, for removal of sanctions while Zimbabwe folds its hands. Zimbabwe must be active um, in ensuring that these measures are removed by instituting key political, social, and economic reforms. But the fact of the matter is that these sanctions are not affecting the people who are targeted they are having unintended consequences. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I think we have been under sanctions for over two decades. The lives of the Zimbabwean people have not improved. The economic system has not improved. The social system has not improved. The electoral system has not improved. And therefore, we think that they are not working. If anything, sanctions give a ready excuse for people to explain away they are in competency to explain away their corruption and so on. Uh, my friend Tonio, thank you very much for the question. Um, what exactly did we uh, uh, demand from uh, uh, President Mnangagwa? And what did he say in return so that uh, Zimbabweans are not in the dark? Uh, I want to thank you and I want to say to you, there are certain principles that... Uh, uh, we as negotiators know and, and, and live by. Uh, one of the principles is that we don't negotiate in public. Um, negotiation in public is not the best thing to do and it's not the most effective uh, thing to do. But what we did uh, put to the president generally um, is the need for dialogue and the reason for the dialogue, the major reason for the dialogue is to do those things that will result in the betterment of the lives of the Zimbabwean person. It may be reforms, it may be other measures and so on, 
but it must be calculated uh, to improve the lives of Zimbabweans. And this dialogue must not generate an elite pact. In other words, it must not be a, an, an agreement between ZANU-PF and MDCT. That is an, an, an elite pact. It must be organic. It must be involve the people of Zimbabwe. It must involve all the stakeholders. So um, again, uh, in that paper, we did suggest timelines uh, to the president um, uh, uh, by which the reforms could have uh, been done uh, and all the, all, all the dialogue could have been, could have, uh, uh, been finished. We were mind mindful, of course, that we have 2023 20, coming, we have elections coming, and uh, if we do not do these things as a matter of agency, they may, they may become academic because they may be overtaken by events. So uh, the substantive matters, we will make them available at the appropriate time. Right now, we are consulting the MDCT structures. Um, uh, after that, we will consult the people of Zimbabwe based on what the MDC structures would have said. So I, on behalf of uh, my leadership, took the document to State House, reported to the leadership, Standing Committee, National Executive. And the reply came. Um, uh, it was addressed to me, and I then put it to the Senior Leadership, Standing Committee, National Executive. It is the National Executive that said, before we go to the National Council, we need to hear what our structures are saying. And that is the process that we have started. After consulting the structures, which should be um, after about 10 days from now, after consulting our structures, we will convene a National Council meeting. The National Council uh, will give us a final directive on what to do. Depending on what they say, we will then go to the people of Zimbabwe, the general people of Zimbabwe. So I'm sorry to say that I can't tell you the substantive matters. I have heard some people saying, oh, maybe you went to ask for uh, postponements of elections. Uh, maybe you are afraid of by-elections and so on. Well, I know that those people who are saying that are actually afraid of the by-elections. I know that those people who are accusing us have informally approached the government to say we do not want elections. And yet they cry more than they believed. And when time comes, I'll name them. But uh, we want reforms and then elections. 